Welcome to this week's installment of the Two Minute Drill. We're here with Nichols head football coach Kevin Loney. Kevin, this past weekend you took on a very strong Endicott team. A couple blown coverages early on put you behind mm -hmm. the eight ball. Certainly. Yeah, I mean, one of the challenges you play against teams like Endicott and South Virginia is the margin for error is really slim. You know, that's just how much talent they have. And so you know, early on we played great against the run, but a couple blown assignments in coverage, you know, cautious and big plays, and, and those guys make you pay for it. It's very rare that you you, you give them an opportunity, they, they, they miss it. They really don't. And so um, we just got to work to get better. One of the positives out this weekend, Devon Nelson, freshman. He's really stepped up for you the last couple of weeks, and he was recognized by the NEFC with Defensive Player of the Week honors. Yeah, I mean, Devon's going to be really good. You know, you, you, he carries himself like he's like 35 years old, you know, but he's really he's only a freshman. And so and, and he, so you have to live with his mistakes, but he's finally kind of come into his own, making some really good plays for us in his first game of middle linebacker. Um, you know, had to have 17 tackles to be really a physical presence in there for us was good. And as he improves, he gets more reps in practice, um, gets himself healthy, which he, now he's finally healthy, which has been good. And I think he's going to have a huge week for us. Early on in the season, the offensive seemed to move the ball pretty well, especially through the air. Lately, they've really bottled you up, especially Dylan Rimsky. Mm -hmm. He's been limited in catches the yeah. last couple of weeks. What can you guys work on to to get back to what was successful the first week of the season. Yeah, I think the big thing, obviously, is the defense has gotten better and better and better, which is one of the challenges. Um, you know, we're getting – I thought, you know, our offensive line played pretty well, actually, last week. Did some really good things. Um, protected the quarterback. You know, just a matter of – as a receiving core, one of the things we worked on right now is trying to be being sharper in and out of our breaks. It's going to create more separation. We don't have the, the explosive fast guys that we used to have. Um, you know, you look at the guys we had last year, some guys who could really run by guys. We don't have that guy this year. We have guys who can catch the ball if they're in space and make things happen after the catch. Um, and that's a big thing for them. you got to get yourself into space. And so that's a big thing for us, being able to get the ball to our backs, take care of it, get the ball in the hands of our scat guys, you know, Grant Klimek and Chuck Wooding out in the flat, ideally. Hopefully get those guys going a little bit. That'll make our life a little easier, take pressure off of the big play necessity. And Wooding is a guy we saw a little bit more of this past mm -hmm. weekend. Maybe his role in the offense expands. Yeah. So this week you head out to MIT. Yep. A team that's two and two. A couple breaks go their way. Maybe they're undefe undefeated. I, I'm, they're, they, you know, uh, I've said it as long as I don't continue to say it until you know, I'm done coaching. But you know, I have the utmost respect for Chad Martinovich. Uh, Chad actually coached with me when I was a player in college, um, and so I know what he's good at. I know how good he is. And the reality is that that MIT's decided to really commit to this athletically. Um, they, they went out to the Pomona this year and played a game. Um, they went toe to toe with, with Salve, uh, went toe to toe with Curry. Um, Should have won those two games. Um, shut out Becker earlier in the year. You watch them; they're they're big, they're physical, they're strong on both sides of the ball. They've got phenomenal players uh, on both sides of the ball. So we got our, our work cut out for us. Fantasy game begins at seven o'clock Friday night out in Cambridge. You can also follow along on NicholasAthletics.com with live stats and also some live video. Thank you, Coach.